Hi, this is Jill Perry Ising again for the Deer Park High School Multimedia class with a quick tutorial on transitions. So in our last tutorial, I showed you how to mark an endpoint and an outpoint on these clips and drop them into the timeline. Now I want to show you how to put a transition in. A transition is something that you put right here in between two clips so that it shows the changeover from one clip to the next clip. So to get a transition, you're going to go ahead and go over to the right hand side and click on this icon right here to bring up your transition menu. So you get a list of all different categories with all different transitions. If you rest your cursor over them, you can scrub them and see what they do. For our purposes in our class, 90% of the time we're going to use a cross dissolve. So all I have to do is take that cross dissolve and drag and drop it onto that seam between the two clips. Now if I back up my playhead just before it and play it, again by hitting the space bar, so somebody you can kind of see how my here, two clips blended into each other. So the first clip blended into the second clip. So I'll show that one more time. S will drive. So somebody out there can help Carl. There's the blend. Here, uh... If you wanted that effect to be a little bit longer, you can rest your cursor over the transition here in your timeline and drag it out to retime re it. All right. So now that's much longer. If I was to play it. You'll I see the effect takes a lot drive. longer. So so somebody out there she's still talking. Right it's still here, blending yeah, through. So yeah, obviously I wouldn't event. do that. But that's, so that's how you do a transition. Simple enough. But one of the problems my students often come up with is they end up going to put a transition in and it doesn't work. So then they get messages that they don't understand. So let me show you an example of that. Let me put the uh, clips back in. Let's say I was to take this clip and instead of having my in bracket here and my out bracket here, let's say I take the entire clip and I don't have an endpoint and outpoint. I just drag the whole clip down onto the timeline. And let's say I take this clip and do the same thing. No endpoint or outpoint, just take the entire clip. And I put that on my timeline. So now if I go to take that transition and drag it in between these two clips, watch what happens. I get an error message. It's saying there is not enough extra media beyond clip edge to create the transition. And then it's going to ask you, go ahead and create the transition. And sometimes it'll ask you, do you want it? Do you want us to make a ripple effect for you? So what's happening is the transition needs something to attach itself to. So we're going back up here into my browser. If my endpoint is the very left edge of my clip and my out point is the very right edge of my clip, the transition has nothing to attach itself to. But if I were to change my endpoint and my out point on my clip, so now this bracket is my endpoint, this bracket on the right is my out point. Now the transition has something to grab onto because it can, whether you're putting a transition on the front or back of a clip, it wants to grab onto either here or it wants to grab onto e over here. So that's why I have my students always film three seconds, then start talking. Then after they stop talking, film another three seconds. So when we want to make in and out points, we give it room for the transition to grab onto. Uh, it's not a big deal because with this Final Cut 10 as opposed to Final Cut 7, Final Cut 7 you had to readjust your endpoint and outpoints. In Final Cut 10 it kind of does it for you, but there's always a chance when it does a, a ripple effect and it cuts off a little bit of your video that you might cut off something that you weren't showing. So that's about it on transitions. So to review, transitions are used using this icon over here. In our class we're going to pretty much always use the cross dissolve when we do use one, and when we use it we're going to put it on that seam in between two clips. That's all for now. Thank you.